Cameron Carroll in the backfield. On the zone read, it's Carroll. He's got an opening into the secondary and a red zone opportunity for Tulane. Cincinnati, one of the best red zone defenses in the country. On third down. Horton under pressure. Running in circles. Can't get away. And that's a freshman mistake. Jawan Briggs, the Virginia transfer, gets the sack. Tricks in the bag. It is Halloween weekend. <laughs> You're facing the number two team, but this time Ryan Wright, who's been one of the best punters in the country. Wow, they downed it at the one-yard line, so special teams comes up big for Tulane and Cincinnati. He's matched up on Jalen Monroe, top cover corner for Tulane. Ritter from his own end zone, looking long for Pierce, who reaches up, he makes the catch, and stays in bounds. He's got all these athletic traits, and he was kind of an outside linebacker body. 15th play of this drive. Ritter, end zone, wide open, Wiley, for a Cincinnati touchdown. Both teams drove the ball, but Cincinnati's the one that gets points. But the difference is always strength of schedule. Cincinnati has the 82nd ranked strength of schedule down the stretch. As oh, hang on a second. Marvin Moody gets Desmond Ritter in the end zone. And Tulane is on the board with a safety. And Tulane reminding all of us, hey. Daniels under center on the fly sweep. Tajay Sears, Spears with a house call. And Tulane with the lead on number two, Cincinnati. Show him a lot to do a little, and it has been productive. Remember that missed opportunity earlier to Shea Wyatt? This time, watch Caleb Thomas, the right guard, get this seal. This is gonna hit quick, so you know as an offensive lineman, you gotta get out here. You gotta get a hat on a hat, and he gets up to that second level and gives him the lane. They're not going to flinch. Ritter moving the pocket. He's got Wiley, who's got the Cincinnati touchdown. Wiley rumbling into two-lane territory and out of bounds near the 40-yard line. A uh, gain of 28 for the 6-6 tight end. Becomes an extension of that run game when they sneak him out the backside. A great block by Michael Young, the wide receiver there as well. Again, Ritter to the air. He'll step up in the pocket. He has a running lane. Desmond Ritter off to the races. 10-5, reaching. And they'll mark him out of bounds at the three-yard line. They challenged him to be more aggressive as a runner. Paid off there. Jerome Ford caroms off one defender and bulldozes in for his D1 leading 14th rushing touchdown. And there he is on the bike on the sideline. Will Wallace in motion. Cameron Carroll up the gut. And Carroll, what a strong run. Give him 14 yards. Taylor, what's the update on James? Carroll looking for room on the outside, patient run, and thrown down by Sauce Gardner. 13 more for Cam Carroll. First and 25 now. Horton's pass, intercepted! Sanders might have tipped it, it's picked off by Javon Hicks. There's that Black Cat defense coming up with a takeaway. Leonard Taylor, the tight end in motion. Ritter is hit hard and sacked. Darius Hodges, his third sack of the season. It's third and long. Cincinnati needs the two-lane 11-yard line. Ritter's got time. Intercepted. Picked off by Macon Clark. And Clark takes it to midfield for two-lane. And Tulane up to something potentially. An interception, they've got the ball back. Kai Horton to the air, and he is submerged. The ball came out, it comes to one of the old linemen. Rashad Green, number 69, picked up about seven yards. Mike Golick 
Jr. beaming in the broadcast booth right now. That's one of your people. Glover from 41. His kick is up and good. Three more for Tulane. Oh, they've scored almost every which way. A touchdown, a safety, and a field goal as time expires in the second quarter. Tulane doesn't want their freshman quarterback throwing the ball 20-plus times this game. Here's Ford, his biggest run of the game, carrying defenders into Tulane territory. That sideline's only going to get more juice. Fletcher's kick, fair caught by Cincinnati. They'll down it at the five-yard line. From the five-yard line, Carroll engulfed behind the line of scrimmage. Darian Beavers, coming off a 14-tackle game, got there first. 13th play of the drive. Wiley was the motion tight end. Ritter has Wiley wide open. Touchdown! Back-to-back -back two touchdown games for Josh Wiley. The leading receiver for this team in 2020 out the backside for an easy score. See everyone loaded up. Four-man pressure. Sanders getting around the corner. And my Jay Sanders gets his first sack of the season. Third and long now. Four-man rush. Horton checks down. Couple of broken tackles by Spears. Still going. Can he get to the outside? And he's going to be just two yards shy. What an individual effort by Tajay Spears. He gets 17. And don't be surprised if Tulane goes for it here. Out of that ace formation, Spears has room on the outside. Turbos across midfield before he's spun down by Brian Cook. 14 more for Tajay Spears. Suffered a torn ACL last year, a long recovery with a number of setbacks. Horton, downfield. Intercepted by Kobe Bryant. One of the few times he tried to pick on these Cincinnati corners. He said yes. He said the only key is they can't be too confident, but he really likes their leadership. Big catch by Wiley across midfield and out of bounds. Wiley's got two receiving touchdowns today. Ritter under pressure and sacked. Nick Anderson, the heartbeat of that defense. Cincinnati will have to punt. This defense situationally is thinking, we can score with them backed up here. And Spears might have lost the football. Cincinnati says they have it, and they do. Ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by Cincinnati. Lowry's field goal is good. It's 24 to 12. The margin of error is pretty thin right now. We know that. That's the standard for the group of five. For better, for, you know, unfortunately, fair or not fair. Kai Horton under pressure, ran into Malik Van. Another sack for this Cincinnati defense. But we've seen them deploy the quarterback run at some key times today, and it's worked. They'll throw here. As an open receiver, it's Ford. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Dagger. Took one out of the two-lane playbook with the wheel route. That ultimately will matter in the same way when last week Cincinnati was up comfortably well into that fourth quarter, up by two scores against Navy, and then Navy gets a score. With two-lane starting quarterback, right. Cincinnati, this one close, they pull away late, and we're on the third quarterback we've seen for this team so far. And there's Daniels with a nice run. He's given this offense a bit of a jolt here. Just a tough shot up around the head. On the ground, and there's Malik Van in the backfield to wrap up Spears. Daniels lost it, able to recover. Now scrambling. And he'll lose a couple more fourth down. You will see things in the game that you did not see on film leading up to the game. Slight of hand. It's what you've got to do, and it's what Cincinnati managed to overcome today.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.